So I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what I've been doing over spring break. So while I'm cleaning this mirror, let me tell you guys where I've been. So my dad and I decided to take a little father-son trip out of the state to do some skiing. Cause let's be honest, we haven't done any skiing since the pandemic thing started in 2020. And I couldn't be more happier. So we hopped on a plane and we headed towards our destination. And yes, I know this is a very crappy video of us taking us off. Well, you see, the camera was shaking because the whole plane was shaking when we were taking off. And also, the people on my side of the plane had their window closed, so this was the only window shot I could get of us taking us off. So don't judge me. <clears throat> anyway, we flew from Massachusetts through New York, past Michigan, then through Wisconsin, then through Iowa. Then we went through Nebraska. I went through Nebraska, all the way through color Colorado, all the way to Okay, we're going to use a pen. All right into All the way to Utah. We went to Salt Lake City, Utah, okay? That's where we went. From there, we got on a bus, and it took us directly to our suite. Once we actually got to see our suite, it felt like complete paradise. I knew for a fact that I was going to enjoy this trip 100%. After many hours of flying and being on a high altitude, I just wanted to relax and enjoy this trip without having to do anything at all. But wait, I just realized, we're going skiing the next morning. But the plane ride was totally worth it. We had a whole day of sun and clouds, and this was the first time I got to ski with my GoPro for the first time since 2019. Things were going smoothly. Until my dad's curiosity got the best of him. He made us go through these open avalanche cliff areas that were double black diamonds. And yeah, as you can see here, this probably wasn't the best decision. But you would think that we would get out of this safely, right? Well, think again. My dad and I ended up slipping and sliding off the trail and down this cliff. A little mess up here, right dad? <laughs> so we came back up for day two and it wasn't really any better. See, there was so much fog going up and going down. You couldn't see anything in front of your face. But we knew in our hearts that day three was going to be beautiful. Yeah, keep in mind, I don't even have my ski mask or my neck warmer on. So here's what I looked like after all this. Whoops, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> uh, here's what I really looked like. But on our last day, we actually got a lot of sunshine, although it was very chilly. But my dad and I were having the time of our lives. And of course, some trips and falls were made. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> but I got to relax in a nice jacuzzi, went through the historic Peruvian tunnel, which led to the other side of the mountain, and ate some really good food, which one restaurant had gold silverware. Huh. Unfortunately, my dad and I both knew that all good trips must come to an end. From there, we hopped on a train and we went back to Massachusetts. I never actually took a train. That was all one big lie. We really just took a plane back, but it was okay because I got to see a beautiful sunset on the mountains on our flight back home. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? <laughs> 